Can, can somebody listening to this podcast uh, do me a favor? Edit together just every time Nigel has, <laughs> yeah. like, talked about a story and milk and whatever, <laughs> and then put it into an hour long Nigel only cut. podcast. The, I really the, want to Nigel see Nigel Gomez super cut. <laughs> just eat a drink, drink a gallon of milk and vomit all over him. Like, <laughs> spit in his mouth, son. <laughs> He'll really like it. <laughs> just eat a drink, drink a gallon of milk and vomit all over him. And then another no one would ever bully you again if, if they knew that you would actually go to the links to drink a gallon of milk just to vomit. Oh, all wait, over actually, this is good you advice. Got actually. I, I used to date someone and she was a very nervous driver and you know what it was it was you know like people like they don't do hand over hand when they turn the steering wheel they do like the little shifts oh yeah what? and they don't they don't want to like do too much turning at a time and they go it's like milking like a cow it's like yes. milking two udders at the same time sure. that yeah. is such a red that's like that's like, like oh like this, god like this. grab grab <laughs> like, or like pull wait it's like pull, <laughs> pull, 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 pull. Yeah, pull. yeah, and that uh, he came in with like a broken arm, but like when we evaluated him more, we also found that like he had liver damage, and that was from the vitamin A that he was just consuming left and right. God, that's yeah. Uh, Should have taken more calcium pills, I guess. Drink your milk. He wouldn't have broken a bone. I know, like the easiest thing is just like, what's your race? <laughs> we'll give you a drink on your race. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give William a glass of warm milk. We should just say why Kevin isn't here, because he yeah. has bad Florida internet. Oh yeah, you tell that story. It's not even a story. Well, we just rescheduled for today, so I that know. Kevin could be here. <laughs> then his internet hey. went down. Well, hey, we missed yesterday because you were off getting a milkshake, Nile. All right. No, mi- I we we said ten. Milk addiction. We said ten p.m. my time. I show up here at 9.45 and I see a message that was sent at 9.20. Oh, it's canceled. Yeah. I was you like, were, what? You were, and you were getting a milkshake. Yeah, you because the, 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 I, was show, I was still 15 <laughs> minutes early and I got canceled 40 minutes before. <laughs> good milkshake though? That was good. I remember I would get, I, I would guess. buy, like, the only thing I'd buy at school was, like, chocolate milk. And they, like, stopped serving like whole chocolate cracker. milk. It was, there was no more whole milk, no more whole chocolate mm. milk. And so it's like, I just stopped drinking. Like, I'm not, I, I'm not drinking the, you know, like, oh, God forbid there's some fat in the, in the sugary milk. We have, I'm saying you, you can, you? you can romanticize that period. You know, I can definitely see you being able to, like, romanticize the period, like, back in the day. How, you know, society might have been different or better without video games. You know, like... Winning a game of Call of Duty is pretty fun, but have you ever milked a cow for six hours on your farm <laughs> <laughs> before there's video games? Have you ever, that have was you ever gotten pretty cool. gonorrhea before there was antibiotics? <laughs> oh my right, God. but like they probably got just as much pleasure or satisfaction from like, I don't know, weaving a basket or something. I don't think so. I don't think so. So like, oh, like if, if, if uh, you know, doing science is too dangerous, well then so is playing football and so is oh, doing yeah. all these other I things. Mean, I, I agree. You see the new challenge? No, for, the for egg sure. crate, milk crate challenge? Like, oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That's oh, oh right. my it God. Goes, yeah. Like, like that, that, that's uh, just people scorpioning. Yeah. Scorpioning, just landing on their spine. Yeah, we were planting the oysters, <laughs> and then they had like these, um, like, kind of milk crates. <laughs> but is there, what issue, what issue is there with like pickling your own garbage eggs? Is there a problem with that? I mean, you don't know where the eggs have been. I mean, it's they're, like, been, it, what if it been eggs? Yeah. They were inside they were of in a the, chicken They were in the dumpster. Like, I know. Yeah, gross. I know. They, yeah, they, they were in a chicken. Then they got on a truck. Then they were on a display shelf. And no one bought them. And then they got put in the dumpster. But they were in no, somebody How long have they been in the, dumpster, in the dumpster, dumpster for? Right? Uh, I don't know. All day, probably. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I mean, were there rats crawling around? Were there cockroaches? Well, he pickled the rats, too. So that should have been fine. But the issue is that to discourage people from stealing because they're afraid of like getting sued if anyone gets sick, what they do is with the with like gallon milk and like bags of flour, they'll like knife them open before they throw them in. So like everything right. is actually covered in this kind of rancid, like really like gross oh. milk flour yeah. kind of stuff. So you have to wash that stuff off when you get home. But if you were, when you took a lava lamp and you replaced the fluid with milk and then you just like let, keep it in your room with the light on. Rot. And just let it go rotten, and then wow. put it in the dumpster, and then Alan will come and get it. <laughs> no, you wash off the rotten milk. Big research scholar paper could can stick their nuts in an ultrasonic cleaner. <laughs> Bernard's like, get me out of this podcast. And whatever mysterious chemical Bernard refuses to tell us about, was it milk? Oh, Nigel. What is this secretly about you and your milk? <laughs> 
Yeah, that's yeah. If, if I can get fat, I think I win automatically. Kevin Honestly, I, I probably lose. Kevin, more. yeah, continuously. That's yeah. I'm like six it's, foot one, fifty five, six one wow. fifty five. <laughs> I've always been like that. Yeah. Except when yeah. I, I pulled a Nigel and I, I gained like ten pounds by drinking milk. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel did that. That's yeah. funny. I think Nigel still does it. He just won't admit to it. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want people to know. Let's speculate why Nigel's at the doctor's right now. He drinks sour chocolate. I feel it. like it's. <laughs> My question is: Wait, it's an How do pack? they get the fat out of the yogurt? So. Do they just not put the fat in? I don't know how yogurt's I made. I actually don't know how yogurt's made. It's made from milk, isn't it? Why is low fat? They take a cow and they put it in. Have in you ever milk. seen how fighter jets train? Like pilots train for I, fighter jets. They sit in that thing and it spins them around mm, really fast. Like a, a human centrifuge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they do it with cows. And they flip the cows upside down so the milk comes out of the udders before the fat does. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. So like it like separates them, the speed separates them through, through density. Or something like that. Yes, exactly like a centrifuge. Damn. Both a cow. Do do the cows survive this process? Um, the yeah, it has a pretty good uh, success rate for fully grown grown cows. Now, why can't they uh, extract the milk in its entirety and then put the milk in the centrifuge? <laughs> I was going to say, what is the... <laughs> because the cows like it. Yeah. The cows, they, yeah, they it, love it. Yeah, Jibril, it. They line up Yeah, Jibril, in, line. in fact, they tried to do that, but the cows demanded... <laughs> The V centrifuge, <laughs> the dog food versus oh yeah, we yeah. got uh, yeah. Taste, dog like, food dog versus human test. food. Like, can you feel, like what does dog food taste like versus like Campbell's? Yeah, dog food versus Campbell's. I'm excited. For, I'm actually really excited for that. I'm uh, not. I feel like it's gonna you, be really yeah. clear. I think the difference is gonna be very clear when you taste it. What about cat milk versus real milk? <laughs> okay, I have a question. Now. You were talking about what, cat what do you milk. Mean real milk. What is cat milk? It's. I think it's milk for cats. How do they get the I don't milk, think it's out milk out of the cat? From cats. <laughs> it's milk for cats. You know, I had this idea a long time ago to make rat cheese. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and I looked up how to get the milk out of rats, and it's like actually more difficult in an unstable position yeah. it's like a mouse trap basically it's just looking for like an excuse to so if you like apart. give it a tap that's why it goes and it releases all that chemical energy yeah box. we did a science <laughs> give, give, give me, all right all right give me the box I'm gonna you eat, eat it. like a bowl of cereal put some milk in it <laughs> do you know how many stains are on this chair <laughs> why are how you many sitting of them in are, them how many of them are drink related and how many of them are they're questionable. Other things. <laughs> they're, qu they're questionable. The colors it's are questionable. It's Will's special occult. It's this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Honestly, uh, though, I've 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 taken a occult before and then just added like a shot of whiskey to it, and you absolutely cannot taste the whiskey. It's actually kind of like a magic elixir for for what mixed is, drinks. What is that stuff? It's like it's a like fermented a, milk. It's, it's like almost a like a yogurt thing. drink. It's yeah. like a probiotic, yeah, yeah, probiotic yogurt drink. It's really good. I like it. If you have, I've had it before. I just never time. knew exactly what it was. You just if someone gave you a little bottle of white stuff and you just downed it and without ever asking. You wouldn't. It doesn't taste like it. It's totally fine. Like it, it's, no, yeah, it's yeah. great. I I really like it. It's oh, like channeled, he's channeled my inner Alan back. Pan for that one when they yes. Had Don't question. Just put it in your mouth and swallow it. That's how I was too. Sure. I think that's normal. That's like normal for teenagers. I don't know. Have you tried stupid. drinking a gallon boys, of milk yeah. a day? If you drink a gallon of milk a day, I think <laughs> that would do it. <laughs> Who wants to drink a gallon of milk? Yeah, I, I can drink I a gallon don't. of milk in three minutes. Your mom, your mom loves milk. Somewhere sure Nigel's hair, did. wherever Nigel's his hair just stood up on the back yeah. of his neck. <laughs> <laughs> when I was 18, I drank four liters of iced tea a day. <laughs> I feel like Nigel, <laughs> of all of us, Nigel oh. probably has the worst diet. It's actually tied between Nigel and Peter, I think, for worst diet. Was there no, a my, reason? My, Why? Was Sorry? it sweet tea or unsweetened? Sweetened or unsweetened? Oh, my it, God. it has to be sweet. You're not going to drink sweet. that much unsweetened yeah. tea. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Why? That is so much I, sugar. Nigel, that's literally like cups of sugar that I, you're just ingesting. I quit ingesting. out of fear of diabetes. Uh, I, that's yeah. what you're yeah. chocolate milk, right? Sorry? Sorry? Fear. Was the chocolate milk before or after the tea? I think it was. Yeah, tell the. Yes, it was. That's I why think I didn't it say anything. Completely, it's tell the story. Tell the story. Um, tell the story. Tell the story. I don't know chocolate how. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Chocolate <laughs> milk. So, 
chocolate milk. It's chocolate milk. so long ago that I don't truly remember the story. Oh, I, my, I, Nigel, you no, no, blocked tell out it. so I, many of these traumatic the events I in your know. childhood. I don't, Dude, I don't know what well, you're talking about. <laughs> all of my you told, memories you told are faded. Like like and they're like, oh, day. yeah, that time I almost killed myself in the lab. I think all the chemicals are just making me forget. Or I don't know, maybe it's for the better. That's what, that's what Peter keeps saying, saying about his allergy medication. Yeah. Like, It'll mess my memory. I'm like, bro, your memory is already No, so... I don't I, I don't remember why. I just liked I drank chocolate milk and I liked it. Okay. I've always liked chocolate milk. And then Fair. chocolate looks great. Yeah. But then there was a sale. <laughs> so I kept Uh-oh. buying it. Uh, <laughs> sale. And I at the time I was trying to gain weight. Is this the story you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you, would you remember why you were trying to gain weight? Um, were you underweight? Did your doctor say something, or you just wanted to gain weight? No, I just I was self conscious about my my low body weight. I think we all go so, through that phase. So I read online <laughs> a, about yeah, the opposite. GOMAD diet. Have you heard of that? No. no. GOMAD. So it stands for gallon of milk a day. No, <laughs> no, that cannot be real. So uh, no, no, so be serious right it's now. kind of a meme, but it's on like body or like on workout forums when people complain they can't gain weight. They always just respond. A lot of people yeah. respond with one word, just go okay, mad. Okay, but were you like working so out when you were doing no, this? Or were you just more. No way. There was no way he was it's working out. 3,000 plus calories, I think. And it's just like... Oh, for the chocolate milk, probably. But you have to drink the milk plus have your regular meals. It's yeah, impossible to not out. gain weight. Like, you're supposed to also be, no, like, but building it's the people, muscle. It's the people who claim they've been working out for a year and they have no weight gain. So, and they, they go, oh, uh, you know, I can't gain weight. I'm just, I, I, uh, my metabolism's too fast. So people tell them, well, how about drink a gallon of milk a day and see if your metabolism's too fast. And also exercise. Um, I did. So I, I you tried did? Oh it. Oh my God. And I could never gain weight, but I can attest that it worked. <laughs> uh, and then did I recommended really it to my friend. Because you weren't working uh, out. And he also... Gained weight. God. He gained like 30 <laughs> pounds or something. I don't Wait, know. You see what he wow. says gaining weight? Like, also, he says it in a way where it's like you got weight. fat instead of buff. Oh, no. You get, you get fat for sure. I noticed it because when you'd be, on the, <laughs> you'd be on the subway, I remember sitting there one day and I would... And I, I realized I was taking up no, two seats. <laughs> no, I was sitting there and as the, the subway kind of went through on the tracks and it would shake, I remember your, feeling your my butt, body shake. Feel your... And I was like, that's weird. I've never felt that before. <laughs> Nigel's dummy thing. And <laughs> Every time the train hit a so bump or hit a transition, the, the time, clap of his cheeks. My scale, you know those little thin Sounded batteries? like a gunshot. Boom! <laughs> like the, the tiny button ones? The tiny button ones. My scale ran out of batteries, so I didn't know how much weight I was gaining. Oh so my God. I went, and after I felt that, I got off the subway and I went to the dollar store and got a, a, a little... Uh, battery and when i went home and i put it in the scale <laughs> it was a month prior i'd weighed myself and i was a hundred i think and like 38 or something so it was like three or four weeks later i weighed myself again and do you guess how much i weighed 200 pounds 150 <laughs> yes. yeah i was 159 or something jesus wow. wow 20 pounds in a month i gained 20 pounds in a month and <laughs> So it happened. How did, how did you not was, realize that? I was, I just 20 got, pounds is huge. It's dude. a lot. So I got shocked. And then I looked in the mirror. And I realized, I don't know. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> I looked in the mirror and I'm like, oh my God, I'm fat. <laughs> I, but that was I, what I you realized, wanted, right? I Nigel, realized I have a question. how my face you, had become fat. <laughs> how do you function as an adult? <laughs> I, I wasn't an adult. I was 17 like, at the time. How do you weigh himself? How do you I, not I, realize this, you've gained 20 pounds? I was 17. I don't know. I just. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't look in the mirror very often. Oh my god! So I, was only, that I only goal, see though? myself naked once a month. Dude, did you accomplish the goal that you set out when you like gained I, those? Pe- like that was what you're trying to do. I never lost the weight. I just worked out and I just kind of I lost the fat. So the trick was to muscle. gain weight, you drink chocolate milk. To lose weight, you stop drinking chocolate <laughs> milk. Um, and I just kept working out and I never really lost the weight, but I lost the fat. Oh, so what, so taking like, 2,500 like, calories out of your diet bone, will do Bone Nigel. density. He increases <laughs> it says, bone density while okay, burning the fat. Yeah, the calcium. <laughs> the calcium from the milk. Oh, it bones. permanently messes up your insides, too. So I don't, I don't know if I recommend drinking it. It What's made your, it so I couldn't drink chocolate side? milk for, I think, 10 years. I don't think that's because your insides I think are messed did, up. I think it was because you couldn't stand chocolate milk anymore. I know. Anymore I think, it, I think yeah. you actually develop. Uh, an allergy you, you of some, be, or an immune yeah, response you, you to could, it. I think you could literally make yourself lactose intolerant by drinking too much milk. And my friend did it. He 
he wanted to gain weight. He was also 130 something or 140. He drank chocolate milk and worked out. And I think he went to like 170. Um, but after that, he's like, he can't drink milk, uh, chocolate milk anymore. Oh, and actually, sorry, the reason that I had so much chocolate milk was because I wanted to do the GoMad, but it was more just because the chocolate milk was on sale and I bought way too much. Wait, how? <laughs> so I had to go through it. So you bought like multiple gallons of chocolate milk because I, I it was on I bought 30 sale. liters in one trip. <laughs> Wait, were they in bags? No, they, they were just in, like, cartons of one liter. Okay. They have cartons in Canada? I have a photo of it. bag milks. I have a photo of it. Um, I mean, it's not, a, I it's not an interesting photo. But what I used to do was I would wake up, and <laughs> this is, like, the part that it said you'd judge me. Take a I shit. I would jump in the shower, bed. <laughs> and I would drink the chocolate milk <clears throat> in, like, 30 seconds. No. What? what? Why? I just I didn't That's have time gallons. to get ready in the morning, so I drink the chocolate milk while like the shower. I uh, while I was warming what? up for no. three seconds. No, Nigel, you are a completely <laughs> different person than how you come off wow. in your videos. Can I just say Did, that right now? Alan, oh, this, was, this, this was when I was seventeen. Tom, Tom like My brain shit. wasn't fully formed. <laughs> yeah, but in like, Nigel's I, videos, everyone thinks he's like this, like you know, the utmost professional, but in real life. <laughs> in real life it smash cuts it's, to him in a shower drinking directly out of a yeah. gallon of chocolate milk. You ever, you, ever seen a, you, you ever seen a car driving down the street with like the mufflers dragging on the ground? <laughs> That's it, my job. It, I never felt bad, but during, during the like whole- It makes a scraping noise, but he just keeps ignoring it. During the whole COVID lockdown, I got back into chocolate milk and it made me a bit, it made <laughs> me a bit You mean fat. chocolate milk got back into you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, show us a picture. I, of like this whole time you're one saving Grace, you're it. like, oh, I was 17. My brain wasn't no. fully developed. You're like, oh, but by the way, this last year I got back into chocolate milk. Because, because Alan, <laughs> it took literally after that, I could not drink chocolate milk for 13 or sorry, 12 years because it upset my stomach. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of any of my, like, bad eating habits, and none of them come even close to, like, three liters of chocolate milk a day. I admit like, it was bad, but I had a goal to gain weight. It wasn't just frivolous. It wasn't... And you, you did it. You have, really did have it. Have you guys ever heard of the, sub, the subreddit called Shower Orange? It's just people eating oranges in the shower. There isn't a shower milk yet, so I think you just started something, Nigel. I can't drink milk no. anymore, though. If you're so, if whoever's listening to this, make shower milk subreddit and let, no, make it. No, please a, don't. No, no, don't encourage this, Kevin. Don't. <laughs> I, I I can't drink milk days anymore. Of shower though, milk. For the record, I'm off you again. Can't drink what? Completely. You're off the, off the milk. You're off, off chocolate cold milk. turkey. You're off. You're off the milk. I'm off the milk. <laughs> well, Nigel, I'm very proud of you. When you get your six month coin. <laughs> no, I went 12 years without it, <laughs> and then I relapsed. Oh in, God. Uh, oh, that's sad. And then. I, I gained... I'm thinking of the highlight clip of now read relapse story. <laughs> <laughs> it's about chocolate milk. I yeah. I need the glasses. That's all I need. Yeah. Then you I could, can you be could just be like be Nigel. Me. And then I could drink a gallon of milk a day. Not anymore though. <laughs> I had to stop. Woo! I don't like all seafood almost. Yeah, this is you are not Japanese, are you? <laughs> no. See, that's the part where I diverge. <laughs> I'm I'm more Japanese. Chocolate than milk. <laughs> I just yeah. Okay. That, that means you're, Will's you're a bigger weeaboo than you are. <laughs> He's got more uh, anime titty pillows than you do. Nigel's a milk drinking American. <laughs> or Reject yeah. Japanese oh, heritage. Consume it's, chocolate milk. No, like I like I like salmon, tuna. You know the the usual fish. Uh, you're just you're revealing right. what is happening exactly. all but around. People that. like to be oblivious to like. Everything. <laughs> they just want their chicken nuggies and their Big Bang Theory. Yeah, and their gallons of milk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and and milk. Shower milk. Just sim their simple shower needs, milk. man. Doesn't yeah, I want to see what the Nigel Only Go Mad podcast for Safety Third would look like. I'm on like the milk. I'm off the that. milk. How many gallons of milk do you think you've of Go Mad milk do you think you've drink drinking 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 drink <laughs> drunk drink drunk drunk drinking I think is like German. He used to drink, but but he still does too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I actually don't drink milk anymore. Hello, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Alan Pan, for the wonderful video idea. And thank you, Safety Third. You guys are awesome.